Monsignor, later Bishop Fulton Sheen, from his book, Communism and the Conscience of the West. The Antichrist will not be so called, otherwise he would have no followers. He will not wear red tights, nor vomit sulfur, nor carry a trident, nor wave an arrowed tail, as Mephistopheles in Faust. This masquerade has helped the devil convince men that he does not exist. When no man recognizes, the more power he exercises. God has defined himself as I am who am, and the devil as I am who am not. Nowhere in sacred scripture do we find warrant for the popular myth of the devil as a buffoon who is dressed like the first red. Rather is he described as an angel fallen from heaven, as the prince of this world, whose business is to tell us that there is no other world. His logic is simple. If there is no heaven, there is no hell. If there is no hell, then there is no sin. If there is no sin, then there is no judge. And if there is no judgment, then evil is good, and good is evil. But above all these descriptions, our Lord tells us that he will be so much like himself that he would deceive even the elect. And certainly no devil ever seen in picture books could deceive even the elect. How will he come in this new age to win followers to his religion? The pre-communist Russian belief is that he will come disguised as the great humanitarian. He will talk peace, prosperity, and plenty, not as means to lead us to God, but as ends in themselves. The third temptation in which Satan asked Christ to adore him, and all the kingdoms of the world would be his, will become the temptation to have a new religion without a cross, a liturgy without a world to come, a religion to destroy a religion, or a politics which is a religion one that renders unto Caesar even the things that are God's. In the midst of all this seeming love for humanity, and his glib talk of freedom and equality, he will have one great secret, which he will tell to no one. He will not believe in God. Because his religion will be brotherhood without the fatherhood of God, he will deceive even the elect. He will set up a counter-church, which will be the ape of the church. Because he, the devil, is the ape of God. It will have all the notes and characteristics of the church, but in reverse, and emptied of its divine content. It will be a mystical body of the Antichrist, that will in all externals resemble the mystical body of Christ. But the 20th century will join the counter church because it claims to be infallible when its visible head speaks ex cathedra from Moscow on the subject of economics and politics and as chief shepherd of world communism.